My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Drop it. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. <laughs> Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <laughs> it's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! I'll have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Damaged and I reactivated you. Everything is all right. Is he. Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started. hitting me. again. and again. I begged him to stop, but he. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> so there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. Quick! They're getting away!
identified its model in Serium. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Stop it, but I was too late. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out more here. important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. Is itself a deviant? I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Go on, then. Get a fucking move on. Fucking androids. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled, eccentric police lieutenant choose? Obviously. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. 
Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus! his name Cole his name was Cole and he just turned six at the time of the accident it wasn't your fault lieutenant a truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over Cole needed emergency surgery but no human was available to do it so an android had to take care of him Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place.